So I have felt for the longest time that I wanted to do something that would help women everywhere. And who knows, it may help men. But I felt led to do something with the story of my life and how I can help other women find what I found, which is true happiness. Um, I'll preface this with the fact that I honestly didn't think that the life that I'm living now was something that I would have. I always feared I would have to settle for something um, or for someone or for aspects I didn't think I would find in a person. And truth be told, you don't. You don't have to settle for that. Um, I do think that it all starts with loving yourself. And that sounds corny and it sounds like something you shouldn't have to do or you may think you already do. But the truth is, is that a lot of times we don't and we are not even aware of the fact that we don't. Um, it starts with not judging yourself and it starts with finding someone that meets your standards. And that doesn't mean um, putting your standards like way up high and never adjusting those standards, but it goes with don't settle for less than what you believe you are worth. Um, I think too many of us, whether it's the way that you were raised or the way that you were treated in school, the way that you're treated by your friends, your peers, maybe an ex, um, and you deem yourself not important enough or not pretty enough, not worthy enough. Uh, I think too many of us believe what other people tell us. And it, it took a long time for me to come to terms with I am who I am and that will just be it. Um, so that's the first thing that I want to go over um, or to express my my point of view with is the fact that I don't think we should settle. Women shouldn't have to settle um, and you shouldn't have to wait for Prince Charming to come and maybe you've already met him and you don't even know it yet. So anyway, I just felt led to put my story out there um, and hopefully it will touch other people's hearts as well. I will do them in batches so they're small um, and you may listen to them and you may not and either way doesn't offend me or impress me at all. Um, I'm hoping that the right people hear this and that they will feel some relief in their own self-being and their own self-worth and knowing that I think there's somebody for everybody and I think a lot of times we make the wrong choices and that's why we haven't found that person. Um, I didn't meet my husband that I have now that I think that is made for me until 2015, okay? I was in my late 30s. Um, didn't really think I was gonna meet anybody. And when I met him, I knew the instant I met him. And of course I wanna go through my story with you guys, but it will all be about that. And you think it's corny when like you hear your parents say like, you, you will just know, you will know when you meet that person. Um, it's true, you know, and I didn't think that you would, but you do. And hopefully, I went to college for psychology because I've always wanted to understand things in a different way. I want to understand why people do the things that they do and like what motivates them, what sets them off, um, different things like that. And the main question I always get asked by a lot of people is how do I keep my relationship the way it is? We have never had a fight, we've never had a disagreement, and that's the God's honest truth. And some people deem that unhealthy. But if there's no reason to fight and disagree, um, then why do it? You can just agree to disagree. You can agree to, you each have your own opinions that, Lord help me, Jesus, look at the gray. Um, I think there are all kinds of things that you can do. You don't have to fight to be in a successful, happy, long lasting relationship. And so I'm gonna go over a mini series of how my life has changed and things that I've had to learn or change along the way that I think will help, or I hope would help somebody else. So stay tuned and watch for these videos. I love you guys and I'll see you later. Bye.